Friends, data engineering is so vast that when we start our journey into this field, sometimes we get completely lost and we never come to know whether we are ready or not because there are so many different facets of data engineering as a field that you never know whether you are ready or not. So what I've done today, I've tried collecting all the different skills, actually 18 key skills, which you need to know. And apart from that, there could be others as well. But I wanted to tell you that when you have a grip of all these different 18 facets of data engineering, you know, to some extent, maybe you could be an expert in one medium in some other and then very, very low level at, at any other skill. But you need to have some sort of understanding of these key skills that would help you understand whether you are ready or not. To become a data engineer so let's understand these 18 skills and i am pretty sure by the end of this video you will have a very clear understanding of where you stand in your data engineering career so let's get started so let's begin with the foundational skills you need uh, to become a successful data engineer so we have seven different sections and i will try to touch base on some toolings around these seven so programming you need to know one of these languages for data analysis and data pipelines python r sql is mandatory it's structured query language and java or scala so you need to have some grip on either of these or couple of these languages from data storage perspective you need to know the concepts around relational database no sql database like mongodb cassandra for rdbms mostly mysql Oracle, data warehousing concepts and some tools like Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, graph database. For example, Neo4j is a very famous graph database. You need to understand how graph databases work. Time series database is also becoming really important. Uh, for example, InfluxDB, it stores data in time, you know, in time series format. So that's very important. And vector databases are again becoming very famous. I've missed it here, but vector databases are now used in AI and ML and Gen AI use cases. Under data processing, which is understanding it in detail. What is batch? what is stream, what is real time. So under batch, you have to understand concepts like ETL, ELT, how you can use Hadoop and Apache Spark, uh, for example. Stream is all real time using Apache Kafka, Apache Flink. Real time data can be used with tools like Apache Storm. There are multiple tools, but you have to understand how you will process batch data, streaming data and real time data. And don't get overwhelmed guys, you don't need to be master of it, but know this and try to get grip of some of these concepts, you know, starting with whatever comes easy to you. Data modeling is very important. You need to know dimensional modeling. What is snowflake? What is a star schema? What is entity relationship di uh, diagram and modeling? So all those concepts should be known to you. There are different file formats with which you store data. So Avro, JSON, Parquet, OCR, all these are different formats with which you store data. Coming to data compression, you need to know certain algorithms which is used for compressing the size of data. For example, you have gzip and snappy. And then finally, for security purposes, you need to know data encryption. What is AES encryption, SSL, TLS encryption? You need to know how to use keys you know symmetric asymmetric keys for encrypting or decrypting the data and then how you can store data into data into a key vaults all those kind of concepts not too detailed but you need to know how you will secure the data now let's understand some uh, key skills under uh, big data and cloud so number one is hadoop ecosystem how hadoop ecosystem works what is yarn what is map reduce slowly uh, and gradually it is becoming irrelevant uh, in certain areas because we have other technologies taking over but understanding Hadoop ecosystem could be a good bet. Apache Spark we have already uh, discussed that uh, whenever we are talking about large big data sets Apache Spark will always be there. Cloud platforms are very important guys because you need to understand the basics of every cloud platform especially Azure, AWS and Google Cloud. And if you are completely new, then do check out the link in the description for our AWS for complete beginner course. It has 12 plus hours of content starting from the very basics of cloud computing. So if you're starting and very fresh, then you can uh, check that uh, as well. Uh, how to build cloud data pipelines using Python or, or any other language. Uh, you need to understand that. What are the concepts around data warehouse, data lakes, data mesh, 
all these things you need to understand because you will eventually be a part of that big eco ecosystem on cloud so these are some things which you need to learn when it comes to big data and cloud when it comes to workflow and orchestration which basically means that how you will manage your workflows and how you will orchestrate your data pipelines then a very important uh, tool which comes into my mind is apache airflow another one is luigi is uh, very good for monitoring your orchestrating your workflows and then dbt so the dbt is very good for your uh, handling your data transformations and uh, it also helps you monitor your data workflows so these three tools could be uh, very important when it comes to your workflow and orchestration now let's understand the last three which are emerging skills and by the way a big disclaimer guys i might have missed a lot of tools here but these are the ones which came to my mind so if i have missed something it is your responsibility to add it into the comment section so that we can learn together okay and it will help me as well so please do let me know in the comment section what all you would be covering in your journey so friends future lies here so everything is moving to ai ml gen ai so you need to understand uh, frameworks and libraries such as pytorch you need to understand how tensorflow works you need to understand frameworks like like skit learn and then for gen ai you might be able to understand how hugging face is working all those kind of skills will make you a very very uh, strong in this particular area under ai and ml for serverless you have to understand how serverless computing works for example how azure functions cloud functions google cloud function or aws lambda works and how event driven architecture works and serverless computing works all those kind of technologies uh, would help you uh, develop those kind of pipelines which are completely uh, serverless data governance and quality is again a very upcoming area uh, because data security governance control and uh, quality is very important to understand your data lineage your data integrity how you are maintaining your data quality on cloud so i don't remember any specific tools but there are companies who, which provide data governance and quality but yeah this is also very upcoming and very important area when it comes to the future of uh, data engineering now all these 18 skills i would say or areas i would say because every area it is not that it can be covered in one day it is a journey of six months to one year where you will start maybe by running a select all on employee table okay it will start as simple as that okay completely fine no, nothing to worry but you need to understand the whole ecosystem and where you are at that point of time which area you want to focus on as far as your uh, you know data engineering skills are concerned and again i am telling a lot of skills are not uh, important 100% for you but if you can even get 10% of understanding of that particular skill while having a very strong hold on on specific areas then you could be a very potent force while applying for data engineering jobs so friends i hope this was useful and now you have a better understanding of what you need to know as a data engineer in the coming years or decades and uh, do let me know in the comment section if you want to learn specifically any particular technology or go into the detail of any any specific area i would be more than happy to make a tutorial on the same and also comment what all tools and technologies you are using in your uh, data career so until we meet next time guys keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now